Okay, this video will show you how to do a bust alteration to increase the bust width as well as length. On this particular pattern, we don't have a bust dart, but if you're fuller than a B cup, it really is best to have an underarm or bust dart because you'll get a better fit and it will just uh, fit you much better. We need to look at your body measurements and the finished garment measurement for the bust area. So I've written down high bust is 34, but full bust is 36. We're going to actually choose the smaller size. We're going to go with a size 12, and we're going to increase the bust area. If we want 5 inches of ease, we're going to add 5 inches to 36, which gives us 41. When we look at the finished garment measurement for a size 12, that gives us 39 and a half. So we write that here in the pattern finished garment measurement column. And then we look what the difference is. Well, we want two and a half inches difference. So we'll write plus two and a half inches. That's how much we want to increase in the bust front or bodice front. But we have a left side and a right side. So we actually divide that by half. So when we divide that by half, we get one and a fourth. So that is what we are going to increase in our bust area. Okay, now we're going to draw our four lines. This is our reference point, the bust apex. So come right above the arm's eye notch and draw your first line. Now, this is a full pattern and that means it has seam allowances. So we need to draw a hinge mark, not at the cutting line, but at the seam line, which is 5 eighths in. Now we come perpendicular to our grain line right through the bust apex. Line everything up and draw a line from the side. That's number two. And then we're going to continue it all the way to the facing front here. That makes it number three. And then number four is parallel to the grain line right through the apex. And this one doesn't happen to line up through the waist art, but that's okay. We want to put it through the bust apex. Now, because we are going to distort our um, fitted dart here, our vertical dart, I've gone ahead and just traced it here so that I can come back to this to put it back on. Now, our other pivot point, or our hinge, is right here. So we will cut our vertical line up to the bust apex. Come right through and to our angle, but stop at the 5 eighths, that hinge. Then we come to this side and cut almost up to there, okay? But this one, we go ahead and cut in from the side, and we'll stop before we cut all the way through. And then continue this one. We're cutting that completely off because we will be lengthening as well as widening the blouse front only. We don't have to do this to the back. It's only in the front where we need increased length and width. Now we need to add tissue paper underneath there. And we only need it where we cut. Okay, so I'm going to start pinning the upper pattern piece. And then I'm going to make some reference lines just because we want to keep everything parallel. This is 
our center front. And then we want to draw straight down from our apex. And in referring to our alteration chart, it's an inch and a quarter. So now we'll come to the left, an inch and a quarter. We'll draw another line. Our front piece is going to go here. We're not sure yet how long it needs to be. But our side piece is going to hinge, keep everything flat, don't have any kinks, wrinkles. Try not to let your hinge break, and we'll line that up right on the inch and a quarter line. And notice it's now opened up an area to give us a bust dart. Now, before we take this one, we have to come down here and just mark a perpendicular line so we know right where that bottom needs to line up. Line it up to our drawn line. Okay, just check that, make sure everything's straight. This should be the same as that. That looks good. And then we'll tape that. Now that we've taped all the tissue on there, we're ready to draw in the legs of our new bus dart. A dart should come to usually within an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. This is a fuller um, size now, so we're going to go an inch and a quarter and draw a dot. Okay, we don't want that dart point to come all the way to the apex. Now we'll start our dart here where the cut is and end it at our new point. And then we'll come to the bottom here and draw a line. Before we cut that, we're going to go ahead and draw in our waist dart. Okay, notice we have lengthened almost an inch and a half here. So you have to decide if you want the dart to still be that long or if you want to have it shorter. We do want to bring the top of the dart though up closer to the apex. Let's just look what the original was. The original was about an inch and three-fourths. So we'll come and measure an inch and three-fourths about right there. So that's about where the dart will begin here, and you can decide where to end it. So you could either redraw that in, but I just take my trace dart, put it under the tissue, try to keep things parallel. Let go to my new mark right there. And I just want it parallel to what it was originally. And this really was the original. So if I measure out half inch, half inch, that looks good. And then we will draw that. And like I said, it's um, your choice if you want to lengthen the dart further down into the hip area. It's personal preference. But now we've retraced our original dart there, bringing it up higher since we've lengthened that area. Now we'll get ready to cut the rest of the tissue off and do our dart end. Now we need to chew up our dart legs so they're the same length, but also get our shape for our dart end. So we will fold the bottom dart leg, make sure it lines up to the top dart leg, this is a fuller dart for a fuller figure, so you are going to have a discrepancy here, okay? We don't want to bring it all the way out like this. We do need to get a gradual line up to here. So get a ruler, and we're going to measure from the top here down to oh, maybe an inch below the 
notch, and then we're going to draw a line. We want it blended. But now if you're worried about uh, losing it, you could pin it there, and then you're just going to cut through all those folded layers. And when you open it up, you'll have the true shape of the dart end, and when it is stitched and pressed down, it will match your cut edge. That is a bust increase alteration.